Do you have a list of potential leads you wish to contact? In this video, we're going to show you how you can automatically outreach them via LinkedIn without sending one by one messages. Expand your business with no effort in these five simple steps. Hey, I'm Amy from Expandly, the world's safest cloud platform for doing automated LinkedIn outreach without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generator tool, be sure to subscribe down below for our weekly growth hacking tips and hit the bell so you won't miss the next episode. Expandly helps you get ahead of your competition with smart search options and without wasting your time. If you have a CSV file with a list of potential customers for your business, you can easily contact them via LinkedIn by uploading the CSV into Expandly. All you need to have is either their LinkedIn URL or the email associated with their account. Once you have the list of leads in the CSV file, you're all ready to go. Any additional information can be used as a placeholder in the messages, like their name or their job title. In your Expandly profile, you're gonna go straight to search and then you can click new search. In this case, we're going to be doing import contacts from a CSV and you can then click here and it will allow you to browse your files or you can just drag and drop one over. Um, I'm going to put in a search name as well. So I'm just going to say test YouTube just for today, but it's always good to name it something that you can remember. Uh, so if the list of leads is um, agencies in the United States, for example, name your search something like that. Um, over here, you can see that the detected delimiter is a comma. Uh, that just means basically what is separating the data in the CSV file. So in my case, it's a comma, but in your case, maybe it's a semicolon, for example. And then within here, you can map the fields depending on what the data is. So it's going to gather all of the columns that are in your CSV file, and it's going to ask you to map it. So in this case, I've got an ID, I've got first name, last name, I have their profile link, their job title, and I can map these all and I can see, for example, I can set uh, these fields to be dynamic placeholders. Um, and then I can use that in my messages. So let's just say I have some additional information that I want to use in my messages. I can do so because of this. But for now, I'm just happy enough to map first name, last name, profile link, etc. And I just want to scroll to the bottom and click send CSV for processing. Once your data loads, you'll be able to see uh, something similar to this where you have your name. You can see how many people are in the search and you can see the type of search that it is. Um, and I can see some the information that I just imported. Uh, now is the time that you're going to assign this search into a campaign and you have again a couple of options based off of what you want to do. Uh, if you have the email address that is associated with their LinkedIn account, you can do what is called an import connector campaign. Um, what that means is the list of leads is going to receive uh, an automatic connection request. They will not get a customized connection request message but uh, the connection request will be automated. And then if they accept, we will start sending follow-up messages alongside it. Uh, this type of campaign is a nice way to work around the 100 limit a, a week that a lot of accounts have, because this is not a type of connection request that is um, counted within that limitation. So again, if you have the email address of their account, this is a nice one to use. Uh, but if only you have their LinkedIn account, then you can send a normal connection request a connector campaign with a customized message if you like as for example in this one these people are in my network so i'm already a contact so i could just send them a message already uh, part of a messaging campaign uh, again what i could also do is show open fil filters so i can show those who have an open profile and i can assign these people into an open in mail campaign if i like um, so what i want to do is i can select one person, for example, or I can select all results and I can assign them into the campaign that I would like. From here, you can also A-B test. So if I select, for example, like this, um, it's going to split the list into the campaigns that I've selected randomly, but evenly. And then it's a really nice way of comparing and contrasting the statistics of the campaign. Download our top 10 copy and paste templates that LinkedIn experts use for LinkedIn outreach. The links in the description. If you thought this video was helpful, in our next videos we will be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks 
You can always trust us to get a lot more leads and connections on LinkedIn.